Back at home, an eight-year-old little girl who was shot in Greensboro a few weeks ago is now undergoing physical therapy. WXII 12's Louis Tran spoke with the father. He joins us live outside Brenner Children's Hospital with an update tonight. Louis. Yeah, the father tells me that his little girl is working to walk again, and his main focus right now is on his little girl. But right after, he says that he's going to switch his focus to stopping gun violence and making sure his daughter gets justice. It's a moment of joy and relief for Kira Hinton and her family. She's having a special dance with her father. After she was shot in Greensboro late January, while she was sleeping in her home on Autumn Drive. When her father, Michael Hinton, first got the call about this, he immediately rushed to the triad from New York. I prayed, I cried the whole entire 12 hour drive down here. Hinton says his daughter just began her physical therapy. She's not just moving, she's moving with style with the support of her loving family. Oh, my <laughs> Want to give her that positive energy and that positive encouragement that you can do this. Just because this situation happened to you, does that mean that this is the end of you? You're capable of doing this stuff. Let's do it. Let's get you out of here. And once Akira is released from the hospital, Hinton says that he'll have a new mission to stop gun violence. I'm here to let people know that I'm not going anywhere after this situation. My daughter will not be a statistic to gun violence, and I will not allow her to be just swept under the rug like another victim. My daughter is a human being. She is a person whose life has traumatically changed, not just for her, but for the rest of us that are supporting her. That's, this will forever change all of us. But for now, the family is taking one step hey. at a time. The father tells me that his daughter has at least another couple weeks left in the hospital before she is released. He also hopes to bring her back home with him to New York as well. I also reached out to the Greensboro Police Department to get more details, and so far, no arrests have been made. In Winston-Salem, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.